All right, so I'm doing something a little different that I didn't think I was going to do in the first place. I don't like the way that this really sits on me where these side pieces don't like, they're, they're too far away from my face, I think. And it's a little off. So I taped this piece of paper on and I'm gonna just trace it out and call it good. And then uh, that'll be a new pattern. So I'm gonna cut this pattern out and then we're gonna put it on this foam because I think I can get both of them on this. So I'm going to cut these out normally, but I'm going to Dremel angles into them. I'll, you guys will see. So by taping them before I do any type of gluing, this is gonna tell me if this is gonna work or not. All right. Okay, so it's a lot better. Uh, that's, that's great, that's exactly what I wanted. So now I'm gonna take the tape back off and then glue these pieces on. All right, and well, that sets up, uh, let's work on this. So, uh, I already kind of made these, but I made them wrong. So, I have to redo them. So why not just make another video for it? Uh, I deleted the other one, so you won't see how I made the pattern, but it was a long and annoying process, so I'm not gonna go through that again. Uh, you guys probably don't care about the process anyway, because since this isn't a tutorial. So, I do have to, uh, redo this section so these are the top layers of the uh, hip armor or whatever that is the the armor that goes around the the hips so uh i just have to trace these out and cut them out but i do have to actually make them just a little tiny bit longer on the back because that i did mess up on too so that wasn't the mess up that made me have to redo it the mess up that made me had to redo it was I made them cut at an angle on the back side where the two pieces are going to meet and that creates this weird dome shape that wasn't supposed to be there and they don't fit correctly now and if I cut it they're going to be too small so I don't have a choice <laughs> so I've got to redo that so I'm going to make them a little bit bigger this way so I just spent an annoyingly long amount of time just making these strips right here I don't know that, yeah, this is definitely not going to be enough for both pieces, but I'll leave one out just in case before I finish everything up on here so that I can use it to make more of the same size strips because I'm going to need a lot of them to go around this. And this is thicker than uh, everything else, basically. So the other pieces that, that, uh, that have trim on them are really thin, and for some reason... The artwork shows this piece and the piece that goes under it both have trim that are really thick and I don't know why it's kind of jarring and off putting and it just looks kind of weird but that's what it looks like so that's what I'm gonna do so this is the other piece that's it's, oh, this is gonna be hard to put in, in the shot so this is the uh, piece that goes under it so let's see if I can give you guys a good representation of what this is going to look like. Let me uh, move the camera. There we go. All right, so this will go around. This will be the front of it, basically. And then these would go around like that. And I'll just show you with the old ones. Let me see something real quick. I actually rounded these off really nice, too. I kept them. <laughs> so with, th with this, I put this closed like like so in a garbage like without a bag i have a little garbage over here and that's the one i used to put the big foam in but i'm working on things so i need the scrap foam just in case so i haven't thrown anything out but i kept it like this and just set it inside the empty garbage can and it held its shape really well so yeah that's perfect <laughs> and then this one i did the same thing but you can see here how it kind of makes a weird shape. It's not really straight. It, I curved it by accident. So I, I, I actually think it kind of might work, but I don't have any, it won't be like glued properly. So I think that's what the problem's going to be. And I can't get these things to sit right, but um, it'll be something similar to this. And then up here it'll be in the back it'll be like this this actually looks kind of cool like that i just don't know if i can work with it that way 
I might try and see what I can do, but I don't know. Um, it's also gonna be really hard to get this thing on, like period. So, and actually, one sec here, I wanna see if these pieces are bigger or not. Yeah, they're, they're about a centimeter or two bigger, but that's nothing. So, I might actually try with these first. Since these are nice and in shape, they could work. Let's see what happens. All right, so I finished this one side. This side isn't finished, obviously, and neither is the bottom piece that goes under it. But this whole side here is finished, and I really like the way this looks. I think this will work. So I'm gonna just kind of leave this here for now because I have to go do stuff anyway, like other stuff. So, uh, and I have to get more glue because this is almost gone. But uh, I really like how that looks, and I'm gonna re I'm gonna redo that on the other side, just kind of match up what I did uh, and match up each piece on the other side so that it matches and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom piece which it can have seams because it's all hard angles where this is a curve all right so I haven't been able to do much of this for a little while about a week or two weeks or something like that um recently I just had a convention so I didn't like record at the convention or anything it was a seven hour convention that was for free it didn't really matter it's kind of like chibi chibi con but they rescheduled that so we went to another convention instead Atlas and Hardy had come over and Atlas stayed for the weekend so uh he helped me design some more pieces so these are the shield pieces that are going to be going over the uh, uh the wings so I can't bring the wings up to show you so I'm just gonna do it this way so as you can see here these pieces that are like uh, above the wings they're like little shields that go over the wings so that's what that's what these are this is the, uh, the best we could do uh, we couldn't make them exact because we just couldn't there was nothing we could do on this one you can see I've already done this much of it at least I'm going to be putting a second layer down that's smaller than this but I still have to like fix it up and you know uh, smooth things out and everything but um this is the basic idea of what we're doing today um, and now I'm doing that same thing for this one so I figured get one somewhat done so I can show you guys the next one so I've uh, cut out the drawing as you can see and now I, I don't know if you can see this as well it's hard to tell on the camera screen but I've traced it here flipped it and traced it again and I'm just gonna well I haven't traced it again but I'm going to trace it again and then I'll just cut out both of these and glue them to this. So I finished this one to, uh, for what you guys have seen anyway. So now they both match uh, and it's on both sides. So I can take the pattern and cut it up. So this top layer, I don't need that no more. So this bottom layer here is going to go, come on, go on it. It's going to go on like that and create a second layer over the top. So that's what that's gonna look like. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing I just did. If you guys don't know what it was, uh, because I didn't show you on there, I just pinned these down like so, all the way around so that it was nice and flat. Traced it out with a pen and then cut it out and glued it to that where it belongs. It's really not that difficult, but you never know with some people out there. So anyway, I'm going to do that and uh, I'll be back in a moment. So now I've got both of these done. It's funny, they kind of look like they could be a shoe armor or something for like a, a mech. That's kind of cool. I don't know why. It just looks like that's what it could be. But anyway, um, it could also be shoulder armor if it was wide enough. So some nice design elements here that I could steal for a future project like an OC or something so I don't think I can show you guys what it looks like on the wing because these things are freaking massive but I can try so let's move one of these actually let's move both of them for right now get this the way you guys would see them from the front probably as good as that's gonna get also I got a second light so now I have two of them. Anyway, so this would go like so. Oh yeah, that looks great. 
I'm liking that. Sweet. So this is this is what this is gonna be like. And then I'm gonna glue this down in a moment here. So I have to actually figure out exactly where the placement is gonna be. And then I've gotta glue it down and hopefully I get both of them correct. Uh, so I don't know if I mentioned it actually before. I'm doing a different version of this now. Originally I was doing a red and it's like a goldish yellow uh, version of it. But now I'm doing a black and silvery white version. So I like that one better. It's much easier to color match. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna glue this down and see what happens. So it's a new day. Um, I've decided to just wait until the next day to continue this. Um, I got these bottles here. These are actually bottles for hair dye, I believe. Uh, we got them at Sally's and, oh, not that one. I want the other one. They, they're pretty good for uh, the, the contact cement. So we also got a big can of contact cement and it covered one and then this much of this one. So that's how much is in there. Um, so instead of doing like this with the uh, brush, this will be easier to just spread it out and then I can just use a brush that I can dispose of. Uh, call it good. So I'm going to be putting these little, whatever these are, on top of these. Oh yeah, that's, oh that's great. I know people do this with um, like ketchup bottles, like the ones you use for a picnic. And I kind of wanted to uh, see if I could do that. And that works really well actually. And then just smother this inside there. I should put some heavy stuff on here, but I don't really have much of anything. Also, I'm getting sick, so that sucks. Okay, well, I guess somewhat bad news. Uh, the wings came apart. So apparently that little piece that I had in here that held the two together wasn't strong enough, I guess. So this actually seems like it's taken out all the glue on here. Um, I did sand inside it and stuff, I believe. So I don't know why it came back out, um, but if I sand all the glue off the other side and then make sure that it's clean all in here, which it does seem so, just get all the glue off of it. And then we should be able to uh, put them together still and then put them in the harness and hopefully that'll hold. I don't know though. 